Hey everyone, Kane here, and in this one we're gonna talk about pay to win, free to play, and of course paywall. So there have been quite a few people uh talking about it. I'm like pretty happy that there is pay to win, or I don't mind pay to win, or pay to win is so bad, and all that kind of stuff. So let's talk about this game in general and what the pay to win um is and stuff like that. So Quite a few people said that I just avoid pay to win and I don't talk about it and all that kind of stuff. So first we have to touch on like the basics of even life, right? So currently in this life, basically nothing is free. Everything comes at a cost, whether it costs your, uh, say, time, whether it costs uh, your money for something. So for example, like the easiest example is you want to, build muscle right so to build muscle you're gonna have to go to the gym you're gonna have to pay a subscription and of course you have to buy more food and proper food and then cook there's basically time to go to the gym you pay for a subscription you pay for more food and then of course you cook that food so basically you have something like a hobby you're building your body and of course you're spending a lot more money a lot more time so gaming is also a hobby you can use it as an example right you're spending a ton of time playing and enjoying and essentially the games are not really made to be say um for free use for most people for example like you uh, me and others we have jobs so they make the game and they of course have to earn money for their families for themselves and stuff like that so some games, in particular, uh, say war games, are going to have packs. And unfortunately, this game has packs to speed up, uh, say, uh, progress. So for example, we go here, we have like friggin' 20 packs or whatever that people can buy and they can speed up. And that speed up essentially will be winning events easier uh, against, say, um, new players or earlier players. For about a year, a year and a half. And if you properly manage everything, you can actually start winning a ton of them. So for example, uh, let's go on to Crisis Prophecy. I have 5 seconds to Heroes. I'm like 17 million core. This guy is like 16 million core. He has 5 Heroes 2 seconds. I know 14 million cores and below also have 5 seconds and 2 Heroes. So it really just depends on some builds, on what you focus, and all that kind of stuff. Even, say, free-to-play, if you do manage stuff properly, if you don't waste too much time, too much resources, if you put a little bit of time into the events or the grind, you're actually gonna go pretty high. However, if you're playing this game and you don't put too much time on it, and you don't do, like, almost anything and you just play this game casually or passively you're not going to be able to beat even other free to play let alone those spenders and quite a lot of people are actually angry on the spenders that there is pay to win and all that kind of stuff personally again i am not against pay to win the reason for that is because i have fun beating people who spend like five thousand ten thousand twenty thousand or so I mean, it's content for YouTube in some cases. And personally, I just developed something like a hobby in multiple games to be able to contest those. And I don't know, that's just me. However, I what I am against is paywalls. And that's a pretty different thing. Pay to win is just buying speed ups, stuff that you can acquire, right? You still can acquire everything. However, paywalls such as skins, which have currently like huge buffs for your entire army, say pay to win, uh, or rather paywall in terms of dragon skins, which is not really that huge in, in a sense, um, but the troop stats are actually pretty friggin' huge. Now we have greater abilities apparently under paywalls and stuff like that, which is actually friggin' disgusting. And disgusting to the point that quite a lot of even players will not be able to likely contest some people. And that is like where um, I say majority of my 
negativity comes from, right? I'm not against pay to win, but I am against paywalls. So personally, I usually in quite a lot of games, I just do the subscription. So for example, I even have this. I had this from the very beginning likely, and I still have this. So basically, you have to remember that this is still sort of like a hobby, right? And you're actually using space on um, the game servers or so. They don't make a game that people would just, you know, play for free. So for example, even like Diablos or whatever, you have to pay like 30, 40, 50 bucks. New as games, you have to pay like friggin' 70 bucks or so. And you just play it for a few days and you just forget about it. Like, and that's it. So that's the sort of thing that I personally uh, do in most games. I just go for subscriptions or so. And that's pretty much it, you know, to support uh, my time, support my gameplay, and I get something in return as well. It's not like I'm spending like tens of thousands or like five hundreds or whatever. Like this per month is like, what, five bucks? And this is like two bucks. So essentially, this is still pay to win. Because, you know, you get some of the benefits uh, in terms of, like, Lunari or so, uh, rushes, free rush, uh, queues, which are pretty important. So I never said I was free to play or so. Uh, I probably was joking on, say, uh, group chats or whatever, but I kind of never said I was, like, really, really free to play. And that is the sort of stuff that, comes to mind i was never free to play in any game that i have played i usually bought the subscriptions and that already just totally removes the free to play title at all so that's the sort of thing that i wanted to cover again guys do remember that i view it a little bit different than probably many the thing is most mobile games regardless if they are free to play People are still making games to earn money because they're spending their time the same as you're spending your own time at work to earn money. They're doing that to make a game. So personally, I kind of value the subscriptions to be okay. Maybe a pack here and there or so. It, it's fine. People want to spend money. It's also fine. However, I'm 100% against paywalls something that people are not able to get and i will always be against them and if they put too many paywalls in this game eventually i will quit the game as well because it will be impossible to play <clears throat> and i have played games like that and they're just friggin disgusting they're just utterly unplayable and this game is slowly going into that direction and when it does reach that direction, the only thing you can do is just look for another game. And I suppose that is like um, not much action in terms of the screen, but essentially I just kind of wanted to, you know, talk about it. So likely I will just record some uh, PvP maybe or just leave it like this and, you know, just talk on the side. Uh, but yeah, that's, I suppose, pretty much it. Do let me know in the comments down below what you also think about this topic. But personally, there were like too many people already talking to me about this. So I kind of had to make a video about it. But yeah, again, do let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe out there.